Hey, it's Raj from 3CB Performance. Liverpool and Senegalese international superstar Sadio Mane came off the pitch after 33 minutes versus Wolverhampton on January 23rd with an apparent hamstring injury. Initially, the substitution sounded precautionary with Mane allegedly reporting a quote twinge in the hamstring, but manager Jurgen Klopp issued an update that Mane had actually suffered a quote slight tear to the hamstring. In this video, I'll explain the injury, Mane's return to play timeline, and five key re-injury risks to be aware of moving forward. The hamstrings are actually a group of three muscles, the semimembranosus, semitendinosus, and the biceps femoris, which run down the back side of the leg. The hamstrings are heavily involved in football activities, from acceleration and deceleration, to running, to jumping, to ball control, which may explain why the hamstrings are the most commonly injured muscle in football, with some studies showing up to a 50% prevalence rate in elite footballers. When a hamstring takes on more stress than it can handle, the muscle fiber tears. Hamstring tears are typically categorized into three grades, based on a combination of factors that includes hands-on evaluation, imaging, and function. Typically a quote small tear as Klopp described, and the fact that Mane walked off the pitch without issue points to a grade 1 injury. The average return to play timeline for footballers with this injury is roughly 14 days. That timeline aligns with Klopp's comments that Mane's rehab would begin ramping up the following week after injury. Although Sadio's hamstring tear is considered mild, and he'll very likely be back on the pitch versus Norwich on February 15th, he won't be in the clear just yet because arguably the hardest part with hamstring tears is avoiding re-injury and Mane has several key risk factors at play. A previous hamstring tear is by far the most predictive of future hamstring tear. To that point, High-level research shows nearly a 30% rate of re-injury in elite athletes, most occurring within the first two weeks, and nearly three times higher risk of hamstring injury for up to a year following the initial tear. Sadio is 27 years old, and the research indicates that athletes older than 25 are up to 4.4 times more likely to injure a hamstring compared to younger players. Further, Mane has been playing top flight football for a little over 8 years and the data suggests that the overall risk of hamstring injury increases by 30% year over year after a pro footballer starts his or her career. Higher pace and higher running quantity during a game have both been linked to increased risk for hamstring injuries. Mane certainly fits into both those categories. Muscle fatigue in higher intensity matches have been associated with higher risk for hamstring injuries and Mane will be a key player down the stretch for Liverpool in their Premier League and Champions League repeat title aspirations. Every time Jurgen speaks out against the heavy EPL winter schedule and archaic game replay rules, I lay out a cheer. Lastly, there's some research showing that players of African or Aboriginal descent Mane is Senegalese have a significantly higher risk for hamstring tears. For these reasons, I fully expect Mane and the medical staff to be extremely diligent in particular with his ongoing strength and conditioning protocols after he's back on the pitch and heading into the home stretch of the season. This methodical approach is further reinforced by a manager who seems to understand player fitness and gradual return to play protocols at a level that is far beyond most of his peers. That's a wrap for this video, thanks for watching. My goal is to provide you with in-depth, evidence-based, narrative-free analysis. You can always find me on IG and Twitter at 3CB Performance. Make sure to sub to the channel and follow along on all social media for the latest updates. 3CB out.